The 2023 Renzori Theluji Festival reached its peak with a trio of challenging marathons spanning 5, 21 and 42 kilometers. Participants gathered in the early morning hours ready to be part of the exciting event. Upon their arrival, participants engaged in stimulating drills, precisely preparing themselves for the daunting challenges that lay ahead. All of this concerted effort was in service of a singular goal, to showcase Kasese as an irresistible tourist destination. And uh, we want to also promote climate actions uh, and for us to plant some more trees, avoid deforestation and bring uh, in focus the climate conversation. So it's about the planet for us uh, and, uh, and finally it's going to be about prosperity. Uh, because, I mean, last year when we were here, it's very different from today. The roads have been tarred as a result of that. There was diversion of traffic coupled with the vigilant deployment of security personnel who diligently oversaw the festivities, guaranteeing the safety of every individual involved. The organization was perfect. Uh, everything was in order. Uh, you can see even the runners were protected because uh, the road closed for four, four hours. And... So runners were not scared of vehicles, motorcycles and the like. One, they have been knowing us always for negative issues, having uh, chaos, having uh, uh, issues in terms of insecurity matters. And this time we are in branding. People do come to Kasese for issues, but this time they are coming for happiness. They are coming to know the destination, tourism destination that are new. In now the 2023 Teluji festivals also attracted persons living with disabilities and their participation in this specific marathon is to show cause that disability is not inability. I'm also having a heart of competing with others. That's why I'm here. The, the, the government can support and say, Actually, uh, in, uh, in giving uh, uh, appliances like uh, uh, tricycle, wheelchairs, and, uh, and white cans, so that these people can be able also to compete like uh, able-bodied people. The festival served as a hint of the upcoming World Tourism Day, an occasion the Ministry of Tourism awaits to spotlight their accomplishments and performance. Three years with all the stakeholders in the sector. Uh, uh, UTB, Wildlife Authority, uh, UHTI, we are coming together and demonstrate to the country that as a tourism sector, this is what we have done. And, and we have allocated some resources. For example, in this event alone, we, the ministry put 50 million Uganda shillings, and we hope we shall put much more in the subsequent years to come. Each participant, upon crossing the finish line, was awarded a medal as a testament to their endurance, with each medal indicating the length of the race they had conquered. The 2023 Theluji Festival bore witness to a remarkable surge in participation, with the number of attendees skyrocketing from 800 in 2022 to an impressive 2000 in 2023. This time we have had people from about 14 countries uh, who have joined us in this marathon. Next year we might have about 30-something uh, countries that will be represented. So. We encourage government to continue uh, pushing this agenda, helping us in this agenda, because this is what brings in wealth. This surge not only reflects the festival's growing popularity, but also underscores its significance as a vital platform for promoting Kasese and celebrating the spirit of tourism. Ivan Kahua, UBC News in Kasese District.